just 20 years of age, Tom Pitcock announced himself on the elite level in cyclocross with second place at the 2020 World Championships. His under-23 palmarès, full of national, European and world titles, was impressive, as was that podium place. But Mathieu van der Poel's win put the Dutchman on a different level to everyone else. In December, Pitcock beat the man who is now a four-time world champion. I think that was a moment, yeah, that, yeah, I'm now, I'm now elite. I'm elite on the road this year, running for World Top Team. And there, yeah, I beat one of the best riders in the world. Whilst Van der Poel, five years older than Pitcock, has already won on the World Tour, 2021 sees the Yorkshireman step up. From March, he'll ride with the Ineos Grenadiers. He joins the elite ranks at an exciting time for young riders. I do see myself being able to compete in these races, honestly. Like, I think that's part of the reason why I waited to go to uh, the World Tour, because the, as soon as the distance becomes more normal, then for sure I'll, I'll be competing to win. I think it's exciting. I think before that it's daunting, because you think the pressure, you know, that the people, yeah, you're the next guy like this that needs to compete with these guys and it's like yeah these guys are my heroes you know like so but now i think yeah every race i can almost you know compete with them so yeah that gives me more confidence than anything i think that confidence is well founded winner of last year's under 23 judo d'italia pitcock is equally formidable on the road as a winner of the junior and under-23 Paris-Roubaix races, he's versatile too. I think I'm pretty lucky that I, I could choose, yeah, where I want to go on the road um, and what sort of rider I want to be, what should I say? This is quite hard. Firstly, I want to compete in like the Ardennes Classics and in the Cobble Classics and then, yeah, later in my career, I want to experience what it's like to, uh, yeah, commit to a Grand Tour probably. But he isn't finished with cyclocross yet. Not while there are still major titles to add to his palmarès. I, I want to win the cross world at some point in my career, so I think maybe some years I won't do it, but for sure I think I'll be riding cross to some extent every winter. I think riding cross and roads work pretty well. The fitness, I think, as well from cross, especially now this year, the power and the speed you get from cross. You, there's no way on earth that anyone could replicate that in training in winter. In 2021, he'll take that speed to arguably the biggest, richest team in cycling. It's an exciting proposition, but as confident a young man as Pitcock is, he knows it will be a big step up. It's a different level again, you know, like the support you get, um, like, the, the, like you actually don't have to do anything apart from ride your bike. Um, you know, you get to get to start the race in a bad boy bus and you know, all this stuff. So yeah, of course it's going to be yeah, nice. There's a lot of things I can learn. I'm very good at, at looking and learning, and I like doing that, you know, watching what they do and, and yeah, learning from people who I admire.